Hello, my name's Jolene. I'm the subject librarian for the fine art courses at ARU. This video is on how to find and access the art journals. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to find a journal if you know the title of the journal you're looking for. So I'm gonna to go to this library search box and you can get here by going on my ARU or you can just Google ARU library and the top hit will take you to the library website. So if I know the name of the publication, I can just pop that name into the search box here. So here we can see in our results, we've got the Journal Art Monthly coming up to the top. I'm going to click on this one that says multiple versions. So the top one is the online access. I'm going to go back to that. The bottom one shows you what print records we've got. And all of these are on the first floor in the library at Cambridge. So to access the online journal, I just click on Art Monthly. And then where it says find online, I follow the link to this database. So once I'm on this page, you can see you can view the latest issue. So any of these articles you could click on and view. You can also search within the latest issue and you could also go back in time and search through other issues. So I could go back to September 2020 if I wanted to. You can also search through the whole Art Monthly publication from 2009. So if I wanted to look at exhibition reviews that were at the Whitechapel Gallery, I can just put in Whitechapel and search within the publication. So I've got 235 results. I can further filter this. So if I only wanted things from the last 12 months, I could do that. Or I can go to subjects and I can just pick art exhibits. Art Monthly is a highly regarded art journal and you can see here on the side it says scholarly journal. It's independent, it's not affiliated with any particular gallery, so it will give you impartial unbiased exhibition reviews. Now if I wanted to view any of these articles, I can click straight away to the PDF or I can click on the title and get more options. So the options to read it, I have the full text here. So I can read it online and also there is a button that will speak the words from the article to you. You can also view the PDF. And the PDF will look more like the print magazine, so you'll get the images as well as the text. You have some download options, so you can download it from here or you can download up there and you keep those downloads. There's also a site feature. So if you click on sites and look for the Harvard citation, you will get a Harvard citation. This is slightly different from the Harvard that we use. It will give you the main details, but you would just need to make a few alterations to make it correct according to our guidance. You also get further suggestions from the ProQuest database that it thinks you'll be interested in. So you can click on any of these to view those articles too. So the second publication I'm gonna look at is Tate, etc. And you could go back to the library website and search for Tate, etc. and be taken through to the journal. But I know that Tate, etc. is also provided by this database company, ProQuest. So I'm just going to go to publications and then search for Tate, etc. Tate, etc. is the magazine of the Tate Gallery. So the articles you find in Tate, etc. will be reviews and information about the exhibitors at their gallery. These reviews may be favourable and less impartial than Art Monthly, for example, because Tate are marketing those exhibitors to a wide audience. So because Tate Etc. is all about the Tate Gallery itself, you might want to search for a particular artist or somebody you know who has exhibited there, or you might just want to search for a particular topic or theme. So I'm gonna search for abstract photography.
So just a little more information on download. You can click on here to get the further information like we did before, or you can go straight to the full text PDF. When you download, you'll get the options to open in an Adobe product or a PDF reader, or you get the option to save. If you save, that will save that document in your downloads file on your computer. So now I'm going to focus on some of the art journals that are not on the ProQuest database and how you get a list of journals that we have access to. So if you go to the subject guides just here and then browse the A to Z list and then go to F for Fine Art. And then click on the journals tab. So here you're given a list of other art journals. Some of these are academic journals that are in the list at the top here. And some of them are more practitioner based journals. So you can see from here, many of the journals aren't available in full online. So if you look at the print journals here, what you can do is you can click on the corresponding image for that journal and you'll be taken to any of the website content that is freely available. So many of the articles they will give you for free online. If you find while searching the web that you get to some of these articles and you're unable to access them, take a note of the volume and issue number of that journal then what you can do is you can go to the library website for that journal. This time go to the print copies. And here, as long as you're logged into the library, if you're not, there'll be a yellow strip asking you to log in. Here you'll be offered the option to request a PDF scan of any of the articles. So if you know that the article you want is in number 221, 2021 September, you can click on PDF scan, fill in the article details, and submit that form. And then someone from our team will scan that article and send it to your email.